Hi. In this hands-on presentation, I will share and show you how easy it is to write a XSL style sheet to transform a XML document into HTML. For this purpose, we'll be using our famous order.xml, which has order as its root element. It has a customer name as a child element and also four item child elements. The goal is to write a XSL style sheet that will navigate through this XML document and display HTML, rich, rich HTML. That is, it will generate the XSLT processor when it goes through our XSL. It will apply that to the XML and it will generate HTML and it represents all the order information here and all the item information as rich HTML in a web browser. Here is how our XSL file will look like. A XSL file is also a XML document. So the first line is the XML prolog and the root element of every XSL style sheet is the XSL template, sorry, XSL style sheet element. And it has the namespace, the XSL namespace and a prefix called XSL. Uh, we can name this prefix whatever we want to and then we can use that prefix to use the XSL elements. So all the XSL elements within this document come from the XSL namespace, which is declared here. The first and the key element in any XSL document is the XSL template element, which tells XSLT processor that when it encounters a particular element in an XML document, take the appropriate action. So in this case, you are saying when the XSLT processor finds the root element, the forward slash here represents a XPath expression for a root element in the XML document. So using this, we are saying when an XSLT processor finds the root element, which in this case is the order element, take the following action. Our XSLT template starts here and it ends here. So everything within the XSL template is treated as the action which the XSL processor, XSLT processor should take when it ma finds an element matching this. So we are telling the XLT processor that it should generate all the HTML as follows, within which we use XSL value of element to retrieve the values for different XML elements. Again, within the select attribute, we use XPath expressions, which will retrieve the ID information from the order. So the at ID represents the attribute. So we're going to retrieve the value, this value here from our XML and we'll display it within the heading, table heading, no, sorry, just the heading, HTML heading. We also have a XSL value of which retrieves the customer name under the order. So it's going to retrieve this value. And then we generate a table to display all the item information. So we create a table, then we create a row which has all the table headings and we use the XSL for each. So the for each statement is very similar to our for loop in Java or any other languages. And again, the select will have a XPath, which in our case is order item. So we are telling the XPath processor that when it finds, it should iterate over the order and items under the order, all the items, the four items, and it should generate the HTML, which we provide here. So we are creating one row per item and again using the XSL value of we are displaying the values of each child item each child element of the item which are item ID item name price and quantity once we are done with the for loop once we display all the item information we close the table tag we close the body and we close the HTML so it's that simple to write a XSL style sheet and transform your XML to HTML or XML. In this case, we transformed our order XML to XSL. To see this in action, let's use the free XML editor that is XML Notepad. I have the order XML open here. The XML Notepad represents it as tree, st tree structure. To apply the XSL style sheet, go to the XSL output tab, browse, to our order XSL, select it. When you click transform, you see that 
the XSLT, XML tree view is being transformed into beautiful HTML and uh, XML Notepad uses the Internet Explorer to display that HTML for us. It has a plugin that uses Internet Explorer to display the HTML, generated HTML. So what exactly happened here is the XSLT processor in the XML Notepad or Internet Explorer, whichever it uses, loads the XML document like tree as you can see here. Then it applies the template matching and it goes through all this here to generate the HTML and to display it as you have just seen. So it's that easy to write an XSL style sheet and to transform one XML to another or a XSL to another. I have uploaded these two documents and I have provided the download links on the website. Please download them and try out the various other syntactical elements in uh, XSL as well as XPath. So XSL does provide other conditional statements like XSL if XSF, XSL choose which is equivalent to a switch statement and also XPath has functions which you can use to manipulate the strings. And if you have any questions, as always, you can email me at baratsblog at gmail.com. Keep sharing and learning.